Good morning guys and welcome to a brand new vlog. It is currently Saturday, July. I don't know. Let's see. 15th? Yes. July 15th. And I decided that I'm going to vlog today slash this weekend. Um because I tried to vlog a couple weekends ago and then I legit just forgot that I was vlogging. So that never was like a full thing. But I have a lot to get done and a lot going on this weekend. So I thought it would be fun to vlog. So I'm actually about to head out to the post office. I have eight orders here which are all the orders that I currently had in the shop. So those are all gonna get shipped out. I'm gonna take Violet with me. Um, and then I also need to run to the bank so that I can film my cash stuffing. And yeah, I think that's it. I really wanna go somewhere to get her like a pub cup or something, but I'm like, I don't know if I necessarily want anything and pub cups are free so you can't, like you, I'm sure you can go and just get one but like, seems kind of weird. So I need to refill my water and maybe we'll just wait to do that till later, I don't know. George went to take Max to the groomer this morning, which is his dog that lives at his parents' house because his parents are obsessed with him. Um, so that's where he's at. But let's head out, get Violet in her harness and head to the post office. Okay, I'm back home and I just got all of my denominations together as best as I could. I need some more fives and ones. So these tens will kind of get made into fives and ones as I film. At least that's the plan. So I'm going to go ahead and film. I have my budget here, which I actually budgeted 
on Instagram Live yesterday. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and film this video so I can get it up for you. And I will talk to you afterwards. Alrighty, I'm done filming. And I'm downstairs now because I am pretty hungry. It's 1.37. I did have breakfast around like 9. I had some toast. But I'm going to try to figure out something to eat because I'm getting hungry. And George probably won't be back for a little bit because he's waiting for the groomers to call him so he can pick Max up, take him back to his parents, and then come home. So, pretzels and peanut butter. There's our pantry. It's kind of messy right now, but. I don't know what to eat. So it's a lot later. I ended up taking a nap because I was exhausted. But George brought me Subway. So I'm eating this now and watching Lily Budgets because she's an icon. She uploaded today. So that's what I'm up to. I am so happy. Subway is so freaking good. Like you cannot convince me otherwise. I love Subway. I just went to the bathroom <laughs> and this is what I see. This is what I see. Violet laying in the guest room. Oh, you're so cozy in here. You're so cozy. This used to be our room. But she could also fall asleep literally anywhere. So, love that for her. I'm gonna go downstairs and start baking. Okay? She'll follow. Okay, I'm gonna start with the regular cake, um, the human cake, if you will. Um, which is gonna be a letter and these eggs don't crack it freaks me out because these are like organic eggs from the chickens three eggs of the milk instead of water because I bought this um, fat-free milk the other day and I just want to use it up for baking purposes and then a third cup of oil if you hear Violet she's wanting to go outside but it is extremely hot so Anyways, um, the human cake is going to be yellow cake, but it's going to be a letter cake, so it's going to be a letter M, so I'm going to use this 13 by 9 rectangle pan and then cut it into a letter M. So that's what we're doing. Violet is being very impatient. Let me, let me go open the door for her.
I always mix my wet ingredients first, whether, <clears throat> sorry, whether or not my cake is made from scratch or a box, um, I always do wet ingredients first. I just think it helps with mixing everything. And I also feel like the cakes just come out more moist that way, which I don't know if there's like a science behind that, but that's just my personal experience. So if you want to try it out, let me know if you have similar experience, but I'm just going to mix this. And then my plan is to do half of the batter in the pan, bake it, which I need to turn my oven on. Um, and then a second one so that um, I can trim the cakes and then have two layers, if that makes sense. You guys will understand as you see me doing it, but I'm just kind of trying to explain as I go. Just trying to get all the lumps out as best as I can. She's looking. And I'm going to spray my pan some cooking spray. Get all the corners because we need this cake to pop out easily. Also trying to get half of the batter in here. It might be a little tricky. Hi, what happened? Might be better off doing it all and then cutting the cake once it's baked because this is super thin. I wish you guys were here to tell me. I'm just going to do it all because it's really, really thin. And then I'll just have to cut it in half. We're learning together because this is my first time making a letter cake but I'm super excited about it it's gonna be so cute okay so that's that I will go ahead and throw this in the oven once it's preheated and then I'll just wait till it's done then we'll start making the dog cake batter because I don't want to have both cakes in there at once because then I feel like it makes the baking weird. So we'll just wait and bake them separately. Alrighty, the first cake is out. I can show you guys. Here she is. 
We are letting her cool, but I'm gonna work on the dog cake batter now. So I'm doing four times the regular recipe. I usually do two times um, for two six inch. I think this is six inch. Um, but for two of those, I do double the recipe. But I'm also making little dog bone treats, which you guys will see. And it's all the same batter, so I'm just going to go ahead and make all of it at once. So, four eggs. And I also have frozen bananas here, which I remembered I had yesterday, so I'm really happy about that because this is a perfect way to use them. And I'm basically guessing that this is about four bananas, so I'm going to just add them all in. And I also barely took them out of the freezer, so they're still very frozen. That is okay. We're just going to mash them with the masher. <laughs> so this is obviously going to be a little harder than fresh banana, but these bananas are way sweeter than fresh bananas because I froze them once they were like super soft. So I like to do that and then save them for baking purposes. So that's what we're doing. But Grab the milk. this up and then add the peanut butter because I like to have this part of the batter semi smooth before I add the peanut butter because if the banana and the peanut butter are both added and not mixed it makes it really hard to mix and I do have a KitchenAid but this batter is very simple so I really don't mind mixing it by hand. Um, I really like using my mixer for frosting because that's obviously like a lot. But that was probably closer to being five bananas, but 
that is okay. So that's mixed. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my peanut butter now, which this one is almost completely out. So I'm just gonna grab everything that's in here. Also, I don't measure everything anymore because I have made this so many times. Um, but okay so that's that and then I'm gonna open a new peanut butter because that is not enough. more scoops and then we should be good so now I'm gonna mix this which is a little harder just because the peanut butter is obviously very thick but even still it mixes, it mixes in pretty easily spatula because we don't waste over here. with that this is how it's looking pretty lumpy because it's a lot of banana and peanut butter but I'm going to rinse my cup measuring cup and dry it so that I can use it for the flour Also, the dishwasher is clean. That's why I am pulling from it. But I'm just gonna make sure this is dry. Add in my baking. 
And then I like to kind of mix the baking soda into the flour before I begin to actually mix. Just to try to get the baking soda like distributed, if you will. Again, this is very full, so. Be careful. But also, if I make a mess, it's okay. We will just clean up. I mean, regardless, I'm going to wipe down the counter, so. Fold and fold and fold. together my hands starting to hurt not gonna lie okay once it gets to like this texture no more like powder at the top I go ahead and take my spatula so I can really scrape down the sides is a very thick batter um so if you're wondering why it looks like this that's just kind of the texture of it it's similar to like a bread like a banana bread recipe and the texture that you would get while baking that so not as thin as a cake So that's that. I'm gonna spray the two pans and add some, oh, I still have my spray over here. Not add in all of this batter because one, that will not even fit in these two pans, but two, because some is for the little dog bones. use my spatula because this bowl is really heavy. So, I'm going to scoop some of it in so then I can hold the bowl because right now it's way too heavy. to smooth it out and then probably gonna add a little bit more to each And surprisingly, even though this is a really thick batter, um, it does rise quite a bit. So just so you know. Okay, I'm gonna throw these in for probably 30 minutes. And then I hope they'll be back. 
I am going to saran wrap the first cake so that I can put it in the freezer. So I'm going to flip her over. Look at her. She's beautiful. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap her up. I honestly need another cake. <laughs> so we might have to go to the grocery store, which was definitely not in the plan, but it's it's not late. It's only eight o'clock right now. I would have George bring it home, but I don't know what time he's coming back. He went to a birthday party, which I was gonna go, but then I ended up taking a nap and I need to get this baking done so I went ahead and stayed back but look how perfect she is <laughs> so exciting so I'm gonna put that in the freezer and then I'll probably run to the store in a little bit like once this cake is out and stuff because there's really no need to rush because this isn't for t till tomorrow evening so as long as I get the cakes baked we're good. And it just didn't make sense. Like, this situation now just didn't make sense to me. I was about to take a nap. I know, shocker. I was laying on my stomach. I'm shocked. Hey, guys. I just got to the grocery store, and my tire isn't holding tire pressure. It's not completely flat, so I'm happy about that. Also, the grocery store is, like, less than a mile from my house, so I will 100% make it back home. But why do these things happen? I really need new tires, so <laughs> I love that for me, but I'm going to run into the grocery store, get a box of cake mix, possibly a watermelon, and I'm also going to look at what Ziploc baggies they have. I think that's all I need, so let's run it. Okay, I'm back from the store. I got a watermelon and all the other stuff I needed, but... I'm going to wrap the dog cakes and also freeze these. They are still warm, so I like to wrap them while they are warm because it keeps all the moisture in. I might be repeating myself. I don't know if I said that already, but if I did, I'm sorry. But there's the first one. I just turned the oven back on so I can bake the second cake. But get these little pieces. Alrighty, now I'm gonna make the dog bones with the rest of this cake batter and then I'm going to wash this bowl and start 
prepping the other cake so that I can get that in the oven. So let me get my little dash doggy treat moment out. Here she is. She makes little dog bones. So we're gonna go ahead, take a clean fork and just work this batter in. The oven is preheated. She's gonna have to wait because I need to make all of these first because I don't want to make another dish dirty. So I'm just gonna wait until this bowl's empty so that I can use it for the other cake. But these cook super quickly, so it's not going to take too long. We close her and wait a couple minutes, like one, and then they will be done. And this is extremely nonstick. So as you could see, like when I get some a little outside of like the mold, I can just literally move it and it's no big deal. So I'm going to wait for these. And then I'll just be placing them on a plate so that I can put them in the refrigerator once they're all done. But I will just wait so you guys can see this first batch. And then I'll do the rest off camera because it's all just rinse and repeat. I'm grabbing a tube. Because the last time I made these... I just used a toothpick to get them out. Maybe not. Oh yeah. So I just grab those. I'm gonna move the plate over here so it's not as far. And then any little piece that's like on the edges, like there. Um, once they cool, you can easily just break those little pieces off super easily. So that's what we will do. It is very hot though, so you have to be careful. I like to put a little spray just to be certain that they pop out super easy, but they tend to on their own. So I'm gonna go do the rest of these and then make the other cake. And then I will check in with you later. I don't know when, but probably once all the baking is done and I can maybe start decorating. I don't know. We will see.
don't do that. Savory seasoning and tempting buttery flavor into every delicious twist. Hey guys, we're back from the party. It's 8.47 and the kitchen is a wreck because I was literally running out of time. So all this is just a mess. So I need to unload the dishwasher and then start washing these dishes and loading the dishwasher. So you guys are gonna 
see me do that because I can't, I can't with this situation.